Good morning. Where are we? Can't keep track anymore. Between the borders of Sandburn, Sandbird. We're by Oceanside. <laughs> and in fact, the Oceanside Pier might be really close to us. We just woke up not so long ago. I just want to show you guys our view because it's freaking awesome. Oh, ho, ho. Did you see that? So we're like legitimately on the edge right now. It's kind of cool. I'll just show you. We're like, there's a dirt and then... <gasps> we're gonna attempt to go surfing today. We like, like it, but we're not like extremely good at it. But that's fine, because Richie's really good at it. And we're gonna boogie board. We're gonna make sand castles. And I'm gonna bury Bryce in the sand, turn him into a mermaid, put shells on his chest. We're gonna catch fish with spears. <laughs> We're gonna wrestle. We're gonna wrestle. Wrestle? And we're gonna have so much fun. Let's give you a really good view with the jump. I'm gonna bust that out right now. We said we were starting our trip off right, but well, we are, and we're just outside Disneyland with the Norrins, as always. always. And now with the Tannerites, yes, right here. I think we're getting we're kicked leaving. out, <laughs> but like these guys are awesome. Here's Branson. What's up? Here's Allie. Birthday girl. I just want to point out how fun this is that we're we're vlogging. We get to meet the coolest people, like the Tannerites, like the Nortons, and. As we're going up the entire west coast, if you're a YouTuber, a vlogger, or whatever, and you want to meet up, hit us up. Or if you know someone on the west coast, reach out to them, hit us up, and we'd love to meet up along the way. Because we're just taking it as we go. We're ending our night here. we got to go find a campsite. <laughs> we're not sure where we're going to be camping. But we're excited. That's the beauty of road tripping. You just make up your own rules. No! <laughs> <laughs> Guys. See the time? And there was no room for them in the end. <laughs> yeah, there was no room for them in the end. The campground was closed or non-existent. I don't know what yet. We're trying to find a place to camp going up the coast. Great start. We're gonna find it. No. <laughs> Rattlesnakes? Oh. All right, so we just parked. And I'm hoping we don't wake up to like some trooper telling us we gotta move at 4 a.m. in the morning. But uh, you can just hear the waves. So this is dope. <laughs> oh, how do you feel from coming from New York to here? Feels pretty good, man. Feels like home to be back at the ocean. <laughs> they went from sea to shining sea, and we're at sea with them. Second sea. We're gonna do some longboarding. We're at Oceanside. Our second time here this summer. And we're hitting a lot of things. What's that? We're yeah, we're hitting a lot of things twice, but soon everything's gonna be first. We uh, we were here with our family a little while ago. If you haven't seen it, it's our whale watching vlog, right? Yeah, we hit a treasure right there. Yeah, right there under the pier and two girls found it. It was a free whale watching excursion and dinner. But and I think we're gonna hide another one. Oh, yeah, we should. <laughs> You're here. Baby! Don't hit me. Back again, going onto the Oceanside Pier. It's September. Beautiful weather. This is where we first flew our drone, right after we got it from the Bucket List family. Just right there. That was cool. This is also where a 17 year old asked for Nellie's phone number. She's not 17. Oh, my God.
<laughs> so this is our all-terrain vehicle. We got surfboards, camper chairs, and a tent. We were at a different campsite and apparently somebody reserved it. We had already set our stuff up, so we just put on top of the car and we even found a different camp spot. <laughs> I mean, some people get vans that pop up, you know, sleepers. We just do this. It Whatever. was such a prime spot, so now we gotta find somewhere <laughs> again every night. Get ready for the pop. I'm all about the s'mores. Pop. I'm sacrificing all of the hair on my fingers for this. <laughs> <laughs> I better do it. You take these off the top. Get some of the car, baby. You can go get it. Tripping has been awesome, like amazing. But I've noticed that I need to do two things on this trip. I need to take care of my body. The more I take care of my body, you know, sometimes it's difficult being on the road. Oh, the, just, the more I'll enjoy this trip. With that said, I realized one, I need to run more because honestly, running is just a big stress relief for me. And that's the way I feel better about myself. My body feels better. And the second thing is just to take time for myself and like meditate. That can come in all different forms. It doesn't mean you have to just sit and cross your legs, but um, sometimes I do that while running. Sometimes I will do that by just sitting and observing. I finished my run, and right now I'm going to just like meditate on the beach and let that take me wherever it does. And even though I have moments where I'm alone or whatnot, um, it's important to get in I feel like a state of mind where you kind of are able to think about things or just release things or let you know positive energy come into you and negative energy. Whatever that may be. Meditation comes again in all different forms, it's different for every person. But just two things I learned on this trip. Um, so I'm going to try to do that more and just take time for myself and remember why we're out here and why me and Bryce are doing what we're doing and why we joined the Nortons. They're super awesome. In fact, Natalie is a life coach and a personal trainer. We talked about meditation and the importance of it, so other strategies to meditate. So that's been awesome because I've really taken that into my soul and my heart and that's really resonated with me and so I'm going to take that time for myself and for those of you who aren't road tripping but just live every day or go to work or whatever you do I would highly suggest just meditating or I mean do what you love because there's nothing quite like it anyway that's my rant you can always become your best self no matter how you feel so today I'm gonna I'm gonna be better I'm gonna serve more, I'm going to be more positive, I'm going to be more kind, I'm going to say hi to strangers. So, that's my goal for today. Thanks for listening. Look at this view! One more thing I realized. I'm rooting my Nike shoes. It's kind of a bummer so because they're so pretty and wonderful and they're kind of new-ish. I ran them for my marathon. They're already so dirty because of the sand and stuff. That sucks. If you guys have any good suggestions for like shoes that are awesome but you don't really care about getting dirty. Nikes are so like pretty and these used to be purple and now they're like brown. So suggestions on good running shoes and good exercise shoes and feet shoes because we are going up the coast. So I will definitely need those. Let me know. All right, guys, we've had an awesome time in Mexico and San Diego. We didn't get a treasure buried in Mexico. We just, yeah, just didn't seem safe. No, nah, we could have done it. We had an awesome time touring the San Diego temple as well. And we just got some Chipotle, so we figured here's a good spot to leave a treasure. San Diego LDS temple inside. Look behind you. We got the little mall store inside there. Clue, it's in this tree somewhere. So my San Diego friends, I know you're in here. I know you're around. Go get it. Right Here's there. our coordinates. Bling. Good luck, guys. We're out. <laughs> <laughs>